Yes, it's car. Audible now. audible phone booth not loud huh take a meeting room i go sit in one of the meeting rooms the phone booths are not loud and area is full temporarily closed हेलो हेलो नो हेलो 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 हेलो
uh, a really uh, pretty popular topic right now in the industry. Um, my, uh, I'll start uh, with my introduction. My name is Devansh Rawat, and I'm a core team member at DSC BZB Pune. Uh, my main role includes uh, working as a, uh, I am a technical uh, lead at DSC BZB Pune. Uh, I love to host, uh, uh, I love to host webinars. I love to organize uh, and talk about topics like Flutter, uh, different various front end frameworks. Today, we have an esteemed uh, speaker amongst us. Uh, we have Mr. Naveen uh, with us, who is a, a Google developer expert in machine learning. Uh, I'll be introducing him uh, to you guys in a few minutes. Let's just be with me for a minute. So I would uh, first like to introduce about what is DSC BVP Pune and what is Developer Students Club. Developer Students Club Bharti Vidya Peet Pune is a Google Developers program for university students to learn different skills, from including web development, mobile development, to cloud, uh, to Google, to working on Google Cloud, to machine learning. The, the clubs are open to any students ranging from novice developers who are just starting to advanced developers who want to further their skills. The clubs are intended as a space for students to try out new ideas and collaborate to solve mobile and web development problems. Since its establishment in February 2019, we have organized several workshops, ideation sessions, and built a lot of projects to help our fellow people and the community. We aim to help the community by building solutions that are easy to use and can benefit everyone. So uh, continuing with uh, what Devansh Bhaiya said, uh, introducing our speaker for this session, uh, we have Mr. Naveen Manasvi to give you some background about our speaker. I'd like to mention that he's a graduate from not only one, but two institutions very esteemed, that is IIT Kanpur and IIM Ahmedabad. He's well versed with big data, machine learning, a Google developer expert, and is considered as the top 10 Indian data scientists according to IT Next. He has previously worked as chief data scientist and as senior AI architect at mantra.ai and Symphony AI respectively. He has also written a variety of publications as well as authored a book on deep learning and manages his own blog at the same time. Not to mention, he has also his own startup called BowX that specializes in AI. Mr. Manasvi is a multifaceted person, and we are truly honored to have him with us here. It's my pleasure to welcome him for today's session on video surveillance and deep learning. So, uh, Mr. Manasvi, we'd like to uh, hear some enlightening works, words from your side and so that we can have some insights about your knowledge and your experience. So uh, inviting you to take up the stage. Yeah, thank you, Devans. Thank you, Sanskar. Thanks for giving the opportunity of sharing my views. Thank you, uh, viewers, for giving some time for listening uh, this webinar on deep learning and video surveillance. So we have been working in this area for a long time and I wrote two books on deep learning, uh, one on deep learning and a second book on a GAN. And uh, my uh, interest area is computer vision work. And we have been developing some video surveillance uh, platform also solutions for some companies as well. So we are going to discuss about video surveillance and why it's required in today's era, why every industry wants to have it in some way or other, why com companies are com uh, fighting for better intelligence, better surveillance everywhere. So let's start uh, the webinar without taking much time on all those uh, rituals. Any, uh, you can ask any questions on a chat box. We can try to answer it. So our topic is video surveillance and deep learning. So as we discussed, video surveillance is now nowadays required everywhere. 
go to the banks you can go anywhere any manufacturing center any office even school and colleges everywhere video surveillance is required now how deep learning can really help it how deep learning can enable it can make it smarter that is a question right now and that we want to answer here i'll also tell you like which kind of deep learning is needed required and which deep learning can be the game changer in coming time as well it can help you uh, master your computer vision skills it will help you understand the whole landscape of computer vision task which can be uh, used in any part of video surveillance so you may have seen this kind of uh, like images everywhere your your building can have a cameras and the guard can check the camera reading feeding every time so it can be in a school it can be in office it can be at in your building it can be in the bank so everywhere video surveillance is being done now it's difficult for a person to take care of 20 30 cameras imagine you have a big factory or you have a big you know center you may you may need to have 30 40 you know 50 100 cctv cameras so it's difficult to really analyze it manually and uh, difficult sometimes you miss some big event which can really can be saved suppose some big, big activity is going on and the guard missed that kind of activity and then there could be big big issue it can be big loss of some assets or it can be kidnapping it can be some bad event for anyone but if you have a correct smart video uh, surveillance it can give alert runtime you can really avoid you can really you know stop the bad activity so let's try to understand how deep learning can really uh, help it so people have been using the camera uh, cctv cameras for feeding for having data but uh, guards find difficult to analyze every second so we use some kind of ai now for ai the main problem is the accurate and fast response so being accurate is a big 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 task because you know typical uh, open cv and classical approach generally doesn't work many times and because nowadays a complex scenario you have multiple car not only one car you have you have you know 30 40 percent in a one shoot one video shooting and all so difficult to analyze with the old classical approach of open cv deep learning can play a good role in making it accurate but being accurate and also being fast are two major i can say aim aims of the deep learning work and we can discuss uh, one by one so why we need video surveillance i think uh, you may know very well but still to confirm it you know i would like to just pinpoint it again i mean since the crime rate is higher nowadays everywhere we need video surveillance at homes and businesses to ensure the safety of all the persons and the valuable assets okay you can minimize all these accidents all this criminal activity and all uh, you can stop the criminal activities suppose some some fight is going on if you stop initially in initial moment you can stop the big activity which can happen after that you can minimize the trespassing anyone cannot go to another area cannot go to the some uh, safe area suppose someone is trying to go into manufacturing center manufacturing area that is wrong we have to stop it run time okay uh, then we can also minimize the kidnapping we can also uh, manage the work premise thing like in better way people can what time people are coming going is there any person which who is not the office guy so we can analyze anything very fast like we need to have a official id or you can say that we know the face by face each employee of the company if someone else is coming with with someone else card we can really track that so and also which employee come which time and and what time they are leaving the office and all you will have some kind of better management sort of safety measurement you can avoid the fire issue you can minimize some kind of the you know bad accidents and all bad things and all and stopping the theft and the robbery so there are hundreds of benefits you can save life you can save the assets 
and where video surveillance is being used everywhere you can say like but i can tell you the the main places like bank premises every bank they need to have the cctv cameras and the surveillance manufacturing premises because we need to have a safety measurement we need to have all those uh, we need to make a stay which can minimize the our accidents offices offices we need to manage our employee and our card management and all campus have a special importance like uh, you can say that all this defense area and all those main areas you know uh, r and d area and all which is like a important area as you can say we need to have a camera everywhere to you know uh, to avoid the abnormal activities schools and colleges obviously to uh, manage the schools and college better in each way event premises when the event party or event and all we need to have uh, cameras to uh, minimize the abnormal activities some wrong activities main places where people gather like any kind of religious place or places where people hang hang out for long time okay so we discuss where is required now talk about how video surveillance can be used hello uh, am i audible to everyone yeah hello so as we discuss right now uh, the continuous monitoring of video is not possible for humans it's not good idea to track all this uh, events uh, the accurate and the fast response generation is a difficult is a critical so deep learning can really be powerful in this game why uh, we need video surveillance we discuss about that here okay to stop the crime stop the trespassing kidnapping theft uh, robbery and all where bank premises manufacturing premises office campus schools and events okay and how we do it so we first install the cctv camera everywhere we also need to have all the servers and internet facility there we need to have some software to detect the unwanted objects we need to have software to create the alerts for object detection and the some kind of events we need to have computer vision based technologies we need to have traditional i like open cv and all for computer vision task but nowadays deep learning can be the best enabler and that is something we discuss about that one second one second one second okay uh, let's go to the next part smart video surveillance uh, this is the need of the hour right now can you guess the capability of smart video surveillance let's start it first let me give you the picture of uh, how video surveillance system you know started in early 1950s uh, we have a emergence of devices that allow transferring images on magnetic tape if you remember long back people used to have a different kind of tape for recording but in late 1950s uh, we the era of video cameras to control roads uh, some kind of important places and all we started in 1970s only we started domestic video recorder and cameras but 1990s like 92 93 95 and all this time digital video system started uh, in us especially in us russia and all so in a big way in uh, 1990s uh, digital video system started in the world in 2000 and all we have a network video surveillance system where we can really router server and all we can really see uh, from one see many places at the same time so we can analyze the whole, whole videos remotely also that is advantage of network video surveillance system then we have a, a cloud camera system nowadays which which can really make it very very fast no need to have all those uh, uh, nitty gritty items of uh, uh, video surveillance no need to have a lot of cables and all directly uh, have a camera just like a youtube live have a camera on the cloud it can it can manage all this alert system it can manage all kind of activities directly there 
Okay, so there are five capability of smart video surveillance system. I can tell you uh, in a brief, which can be called as a major components of video surveillance. First is the face recognition and verification. So you know that like if you have a hundred employees, you need to have a face detection for each employee. So no one, no one else can come in the office. You can really analyze which person is coming, what time is coming, which time is leaving the office and all. You can verify it. If someone is not not belonging to the office, he should not enter the office. You can won't allow the person. Second is the license plate detection and the smart gate. So we can have a car parking area. So directly it can be smart car parking system. Anyone having the car, so if plate number can be detected, we can really just see that this number is, is in the list or not in the list. So we allow otherwise car won't go inside the parking area. Intelligent AI video analytics for smart cameras. So we can discuss in uh, later right now. Audio analytics for smart cameras and then the video summary. Let's go one by one. So facial recognition is a, one of the biggest tasks and a major task. And the best part is that it is improving day by day. Every month you can see some new thing is coming to improve the old models. Earlier we used to have an old model of Delib and all. We used to have a face detection and all. So nowadays it has changed a lot. Now earlier we have a typical Delib style. Uh, 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 Delib is the open CV type library which can help in uh, identifying the face uh, with the help of the key points. So all those nose, ears, eyes, and nose, eyes, and and uh, mouth and all. Uh, we find the key points, maybe 68 key points and all. We used to have a it key point have a X Y. So your eyebrow has about six, you know, key points, and each key point has a one X Y X Y X Y X Y. So you we will have 68 key key points on a face, and with that key point, you try to figure out this person belong to X or Y. This was the classical approach, but nowadays it's improved now. We are trying to use uh, some kind of deep learning approach to identify the face. Uh, there can be many other approach where we can try to uh, use the embedding style. Embedding style in the in, is a very much classical approach in the deep learning. In deep learning, we try to learn uh, how to embed the huge number, like suppose Suppose we have a 200 numbers, 200 uh, element vector. How to make uh, convert 200 element vector into the 20 element vector to make it smart. So embedding is also used in the face detection and all. So there are many challenges nowadays. Like you can see that many people try to use the uh, printout or you can say photos uh, to to just uh, enter the gate, enter the uh, laptop. So that is called uh, spoofing. Someone can 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 not be there, but they can. Someone can use the photos to uh, unlock it. That is something very dangerous thing. And now the AI has improved itself. AI is better nowadays, which can detect that whether this is a real person or the photo of the person. That is called anti spoofing anti spoofing technology. We also understand any kind of alert that you know he is a mask or not mask and all or uh, there are there are many applications uh, which is they are in ready made in the market watson used to do earlier nowadays we have a azure based service we have google based service and all so google also developed technology which can detect the face which can really memorize the face uh, and which can give the alert based on the uh, face uh, identification. Uh, as we discussed, license plate uh, and detection on smart gate. That is all I'm about. Sorry to interrupt you, sir. Please zoom out. Zoom. Uh, zoom in the slides because everyone can't see the text written in it. Okay. Okay. Now visible. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. It's visible. Thank you, thank you very much. For, so license plate detection and a smart gate. So that is like automatic matching against the watch list. So suppose uh, in a parking area, we know that there, these are like there are 200 cars which can come in this area. So if any other car plate car comes with a different plate, we will say this is not the the list. So we won't allow in the parking area. So it is it is happening in many part of world like Dubai and Europe and all. In many cities happening nowadays, car parking has become smarter. 
with this license plate detection okay and it detects the uh, detects and it recognizes the license plates and numbers and uh, also helps you in many scenario or what time the car has parked what time the car is leaving the place and all you can also analyze that suppose someone is coming wrong time uh, some guy car is coming maybe on weekend uh, which is not supposed to come and all we can analyze a lot of pattern also like this way so there can be many management uh, uh, which can be done after uh, having this kind of ai so it can ha handle a lot of tasks like you know, wrong activity uh, something which is not normal which which is bit criminal all we can analyze based on the car parking uh, based ai service then let's analyze the intelligent ai video analytics there are multiple things people are achieving right now there are many companies which are developing the ai solutions so suppose in the middle east and all all the oil, oil companies and all those manufacturing companies they are trying to have a smart video surveillance because if there is a blast it can make billions of dollars you know loss so to minimize to avoid those kind of big big uh, accidents they are trying to create the smart surveillance so uh, even uh, my company also helps many companies in the video surveillance like atm video surveillance in manufacturing video surveillance and all so i can tell you what we generally do in industry uh we try to understand many kind of activity like loitering someone is uh, moving around the place which is not supposed to be there he's not supposed to be here you know someone is coming on a weekend time and all someone is hanging without any reason and we, for a long time and all we can analyze some kind of counter like counter like number of cars number of vehicles number of persons coming what time you know we can analyze the pattern what time which car how many of cars and all uh maybe you can say like uh, traffic condition and all you can analyze with the help of this uh, counter counter ai so we can counter the vehicles counter the persons at any point of any places at any uh, you can say road and all so there are many things like intrusion detection so you can find out who is uh, trespassing the area who is going into area without permission you know uh, and what time he is entering area you know we can create the alert so it's difficult to manage security at all points at all places in a big campus so but this kind of ai can help you you just place camera all around the campus and then ai can be there on a on this camera directly and this will create alert based on activities so even someone is trying to tilt the camera or maybe block the camera we can really analyze that so whatever like you can just find out any idea you can you can think your mind which can be criminal which can be abnormal we can build the alert using the ai using the deep learning so deep learning is found to be the best solution so far i mean generally open cv and dlib and all they used to handle those kind of activities but now i can tell you right now deep learning is the only solutions which can really enable this kind of intelligence no other approach can solve it right now we can also summarize we can also summarize some kind of video like you know how many person entered this premise how many vehicles entered into premise weekend week time and all week day and week, weekend and all we can analyze over the days over the time over the places that is the uh, overall ai video analytics and now next is the audio analytics for the smart camera so i can suppose some kind of sound which is not normal which is not normal like suppose some kind of bell alarm some kind of you know uh, metallic cut, uh, cutting so someone is cutting the metal and all so those kind of sound which is not normal in the premise in the office in the schools in the college uh, just assume that in the in the college some there's some sound of metallic cut and all that's not normal okay in the college so we can really figure out this kind of sound is coming and we can alert to the principal to the you know uh, housekeeper and all so we can create the alert for the fire alarm for any kind of sound gunshot dog barking suppose some area is uh, 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 r&d area research area no animals uh, are allowed there but still you can listen some dog barking or some kind of baby crying and all that is not good for the campus not good for the r&d place so we need to create the alert for that also 
so to manage any kind of premise uh, we can create the corresponding ai it is cannot be generic so every place needs a different kind of requirement some company needs to understand the animal entering some some company needs to focus on some kind of you know metallic cutting and all so based on the company requirement we develop the deep learning based ai we build the models which can suit the need so there are many approach in the deep learning we can discuss one by one there are like a uh, we have a yolo approach we have a retina net approach we have many advanced approach psp net uh, u net and all which can do uh, multiple things in this deep learning computer vision area we can discuss it later on how to make it how to develop this kind of deep learning model now video summary so video summary like uh, in, uh, so how to integrate with the analog ip network and digital camera that we can really know uh, we can take video input from the digital video dvr and the nvr both okay solutions so overall like whole management of the cctv camera and uh, making a dashboard to show the graph how many person entering per hour per day in some area uh, how many abnormal activities are taking place right now we can have a graph per day per hour you know uh, uh, in each location and all we can find the crime crime rate or whatever per zone and all we can find the accidents uh, per zone and all so whatever pie chart uh, your your line graph or uh, whatever you want to have you can develop so based on the business leader and or the the main business leaders we decide which kind of uh, intelligence they want to have it so finally things are boiled down to the i can say dashboard dashboard can be live dashboard can be daily like a one time a uh, one time dashboard or daily or it can be run time like every minute it can be changed dynamically so google has developed the video intelligence api already you can use it it is free for some time so you can use the google cloud and then there is a video intelligence api uh, they can do uh, in number of things they can detect the object such as the dog flower human okay so you, they can classify that ki this image has a dog or not flower or not human or not in number of things are there so they can label that they can also label that okay they can uh, and detect the adult content something wrong is happening something uh, adult things happening in the premise they can also detect that okay so there are multiple things which we can analyze so speech transcription it can transcribe speech into the uh, to the text so whatever someone is saying something they can they can change it to the text also just like a youtube videos okay so there are multiple things which is there in this area also the ocr is done like optical character recognition which can which can read the handwriting to find the text okay so google api is live it is also almost free for some time it can do multiple things uh it depends basically some company needs a specific requirement it may not be met may not be met by this google api but uh, many uh, normal tasks can be managed with the google api but normally industry does not uh, use this thing uh, because they have a special requirement of a special thing this much this kind of alert i want not all kind of alert they want but for the college guys for the students uh, for for normal project developers this api has a lot of value they can practice that they can use that okay so before we just go into details of uh, the intelligence the deep learning behind this video surveillance uh, some of you may not be aware of a lot of deep learning uh, stuff i will try to just brief you about how the deep learning Uh, how deep learning emerged and, and i'll start from scratch uh, i'll move very very fast to deep learning and the main deep learning task which can be powerful which is powerful for the uh, our video surveillance so i will start with the simple machine learning so so machine learning nothing but learning from data or experience so machine le- learning from the data okay that is called machine learning so your laptop or any chip or any microprocessor learns from data 
that is called machine learning as simple as that uh, in the business world we call it uh, data driven decision making process so you suppose suppose i am the boss of a company and i say uh, my customers behave this way so i want to give some coupons to my my uh, customers i run one one showroom one kind of a big bazaar and all i want to give coupons to my customers but if i give randomly the coupons to everyone what happens out of 100 hardly one coupons are redeemed are used so that is a problem so what happens some some business get take a decision okay the guy having this age or this gender should get this kind of coupons and all that is a, some intelligence behind the this decision but if you have a data like which kind of customer bought which kind of items in last one year last two year this is called data and if you learn from that data you find some pattern and based on that pattern if you have a decision that is smart decision that is called powerful decision this is called machine learning machine learns from data you give this data which person which item which category which, which price how much item bought okay what date what day and all you can really learn from this data machine can learn from this data and make a model which can predict that this customer will buy which kind of items tomorrow or next month okay how much item he can buy next time so we can build a model which can predict the future and that model is the key point in the whole machine learning and deep learning world so that model is nothing but the you can say intelligence that model you can call the, as a angelic as a an angel which can decide about the future which can uh, which can talk about future correctly so uh, there are three major types of the, uh, machine learning thing one is classification we, you predict whether the email is spam or not classify yes or no spam or not whether whether the customer will buy or not yes or no whether the uh, light is green or red or blue okay so this is like a classification it will predict the class okay that is called classification second thing called regression so it predict the numbers like how much sale uh, next week or next month and all this is called prediction regression third is called clustering clustering means segmentation or grouping so you if you have a customers you can group it okay i have even i have 1000 customers it may, but i may have only six segment six groups in the whole customers so 1000 customers can can be told as a only six groups one group may have 200 some group have may have 150 some group have 180 and all so this is called a grouping or segmentation logically we use some data we use some logic of distance data and all to find the segments or groups okay if you have any doubt please message on a group i would love, love to answer it so you know this is a very basic thing everyone knows it class 9 class 10 people learn all this thing you have x you have y suppose this is the x is e, suppose your your uh, number of reply in the store and y y is the sale sale per week the number of if you have more, more number of imply then you have more number of sale in the store so if you have a data like if you have a data from different different stores you can have a points this is a points so if you use this point to make a line or plane or whatever you will find some pattern key you can find the sale in terms of the number of imply you can find the sale y in terms of the number of imply x so you make a model y equal to wx plus b and then you try to know find out w and b finding w and b is a task of our model, modeling process and finding w and b is called model so finally you find the correct w and correct b and then we call y equal to wx plus b is the our model a model which can predict y in terms of x it means if you are given the x our model can can tell about y directly so typical we can find the loss functions cost function basically that is the predictions minus the actual and then you minimize this cost function that way you find the correct w and correct b y coefficient value there 
this is the first thing in the machine learning which is also there in every syllabus in class 9th or class 10th i think um, most of you know all this in detail also second thing is called decision tree decision tree no, no logical you can say you want to divide based on some logic logic which can help you help you in predictions suppose you want to know whether whether tomorrow rain rainfall will happen rain will happen like all the rain rainfall or whatever you can say that you can predict the rainfall based on some kind of pattern like sunny day today is sunny day or any day or overcast or based on the humidity based on the windy and all if air wind, windy or humidity high or low based on these factors you can predict tomorrow rain will rain fall will happen or not okay so you find some logic so that way you try to divide the uh, divide our data points such that it should be pure so this lower one is a more pure so this is like a total green and total this one so our whole idea is to find out the uh, division find out the decision tree which can create the maximum purity so it's like a maximum pure maximum pure okay it's not so pure so based on the mathematical logic of the purity we find the decision tree so based on the purity based on the gini index okay in or entropy say there are multiple there are multiple uh, i say can say philosophy uh, on which uh, we can build a decision tree the logic is to create a meaningful decision process okay which can be a uh, true okay i think classical classification problem is everywhere you can see all the verticals every verticals has a classical problem in a big way like even your gmail when you get when someone emails you that email the google technology decides whether this email which is coming right now it should go into the spam or or network or the primary mail so it is a classification problem google has built technology which can classify run time within a millisecond whether this email should go into the spam or not and all so that is there you you use every day all this thing whether the customer will redeem the coupon or not whether the image has a cat or cat or not whether the leaf has a particle disease or not whether the patient has a cancer or not whether the customer will click this site or not so there are problems in all industry and which is the classical pro classification problem and we are deep learning where the classifier can be used okay so insurance smart home precision agriculture digital marketing healthcare supply chain industrial iot everywhere we can see the use of classification problem classifier so why it matters i think many people all of you i think know that ki google has developed uh, many technology which can be the game changer you can say uh, there is open ai open ai there is deep mind company and all which are trying to create the smartest game player they uh, they won the alpha go game also you know leave the chess already uh, the v, uh, ai has defeated the best chess player in the world now alpha go also they uh, like they have built the ai which can play the alpha go in the best way they can win the game very fast so i think uh, we can start with uh, maybe i will just find up uh, uh, this first session in just 5 minute then we will continue after the break okay so uh, there are two main main thing you can say one is the machine learning can be told into two way there is one way is uh, uh, supervised learning where we have a train we have a data of x and y and we build a model like uh, y equal to wx plus b so we are given x we are given y we build a model which can predict y in terms of x that is called the supervised learning you have x and y both you learn the pattern and to find out w and b so if you have multiple x you will have a y equal to w1 x1 plus w2 x2 w3 x3 plus w4 x4 and all so you have a x1 x2 x3 x4 are the input variables and y is the our uh, which we want to find out okay so such so like see the example here we have input here like x1 x2 x3 x4 and all we find sorry we have input here from which we can figure out the uh, uh, features it can be x1 x2 x3 x4 
once we have features like this x1 x2 x3 x4 x4 and we have a label label means y so from the label we find out the y from the feature we find find out the x1 x2 x3 x4 these two we build a model we build a model using the cost function you know you have a cost function you minimize the cost function and then we can find out the correct value of w and b correct value of w1 w2 w3 w4 and the b so the idea of this wise learning that we have to find out the correct coefficient which can predict y in terms of x1 x2 x3 so once we have a model ready that ready model we can use to find out the label for the new x it means that if you have new x new input new input here from new input you find out even x1 x2 x3 x4 and all and then this for the new data new input we find you know all this x1 x2 x3 x4 and the from the model from both we will find out what should be the y what should be the y so you predict the y for the new new set of the x1 x2 x3 x4 got it suppose i can i can show you the image that this image of the cat this, this is not image of the cat so you have image of cat or not cannot cat you and image image is nothing but the pixel values so pixel values are x1 x2 x3 x4 and all so you want to predict the whether the this image is cat or not based on the pixel value that is the x1 x2 x3 x4 and y is yes or no one or zero got it so once we build this model we can predict for the new image if you give me new image tomorrow i can tell you i can use my my inbuilt model to predict whether it has a cat or not whether it is one or zero okay you predict the y i think uh, let's uh, take a break uh, because you need a break and uh, so uh, sanskar would you like to have uh, Anything for me? Any questions uh, for yes, me from, sure, from sure, the audience? Sure. So um, I like uh, I like to uh, say that we are open for doubts. Please uh, write your doubts in the chat box so that uh, our speaker can answer them. Also, sir, I had some doubts. So till yeah, till please. the time we receive our doubts, I'll ask you. So like in the market, like there's Udemy, Coursera, edX. There are thousands of courses of machine learning available. So, uh, for a beginner like me, which ones are the best? Which uh, ones do you advise to uh, start with? Which with as the courses? Uh, okay. Uh, so, without uh, being biased for any company, I think every company has some value. So, Udemy and there are many free and many are paid also. Every course has some some value and some also the uh, flow also. Uh, I would suggest that better try to be aligned with some mentor uh, who can give you the some right questions to answer to uh, which can give some kind of real problem to solve it. So there are many GitHub course, there are many GitHub helps and all, there are many uh, Kaggle report as well. You can, uh, I think uh, while solving a problem, you can go through them uh, fast, I guess. In the course, what happens in the courses, you may lose the interest eventually. I think without having some real problem in your mind, uh, learning is a bit difficult. So I think uh, my answer is that ki all the courses have some good value. Udemy is a good course. Udemy has a lot of good courses also. There are paid courses also. But I would suggest first have some mentor or some guy who can suggest you with a real problem and some real uh, uh, resources. Uh, for courses, you can do any courses. I will not. Uh, I would not try to pinpoint because it is not uh, ethical for me to pinpoint one com one company. So uh, also, sir, some uh, people are there who are like beginning off with programming who don't know some uh, even basics of programming. They want to become machine. Learn uh, they want to go in the field of machine learning, AI, and deep learning. So, what uh, IDE do you recommend? What uh, programming languages do you recommend to start off with and how to start off with so what uh, things do you recommend i would like them to start the python uh, anyway, python is the best language so far uh, r used to be also good language for for data science and machine learning but i can suggest python can be best bit right now 
and start with python learn some basic python but python has a huge kind of you know uh, assets so just focus on something which is more powerful like a pandas pandas package numpy package okay matplotlib package uh, sklearn package focus on this four package and this will take care of major problems in data science even you command this four package four modules i think uh, you are ready to start the uh, uh this game uh, okay sir uh, you also talked about video intelligence the optical character recognition is it the google lens the google lens has the same uh, feature of optical character recognition and video so, intelligence so ocr is the generic word okay and in ocr you can do in number of approaches so company a and company b and college and college b everyone can use uh, a different kind of way so google uh, is working on their own ocr okay they build their own deep learning model uh, to make the advanced ocr which is not public okay typical tesseract company they have launched the ocr uh, module and all but uh, the, all this big company like uh, facebook and google and all they have their own uh, oc technology in the company so sir, sometimes that happens like we are learning machine learning and we are very enthusiastic about it and after some time that we forget about it so what's the key of becoming a successful mi ai programmer or like a programmer which has a huge control in ai or mi uh, ai or ml skills and deep learning uh okay as i told earlier that the real real problem is a is a big thing so if you take the real problem you will never get bored and you will never stop anywhere you will try to dig try to go deep into that and do more and more uh, machine learning find more and more patterns find more and more accurate model and all your hunger will never you know end there so if you take the real problem you know real problem like a uh, finding some spam email or trying to create a tutor bot you know which can respond yes. to someone's uh, someone so if you take a real problem i think that problem will never uh, let you stop anywhere you will keep improving you will keep practicing uh, it, it will keep you on a toes Okay, uh, so it's a time for a break. The break will be of twenty to twenty-five minutes. Our next session will be at five ten p.m. Uh, IST. So hope to meet you all there. Till then, um, bye bye. Okay, bye bye. Uh, thank 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 you, sir. Thank you, sir, for gracing this event, and uh, your knowledge and your experience has. uh been motivating us and has uh, been very crucial for development of our students thank you thank, thank you so you. much thank you hope to meet you in the next okay. session okay sure thank you thank you